Greetings and God bless each and every one of you. Come on in. Uh, this is Deborah's voice. God bless each and every one of you. Greetings and God bless each and every one of you on today. This is uh, Dr. Jackson, and we are here live on uh, Deborah's Voice on today. Again, this is Dr. Jackson, and we're here on Deborah's Voice live with you on today. Uh, this is um, the month of February, and we said that love is in the air, and so we are excited to be able to come to you on today, we know many of you enjoyed our conversation on last week, um, Love is in the Air, and we got so much feedback from that. We're going to do another broadcast, and that broadcast is going to be coming up um, very soon. I believe it's going to be um, before the month is over. So on today, I wanted to um, just take some time out uh, to... Uh, share with each and every one of you on today and we're praying for those of you that are going to watch us on today it's about uh, two o'clock right now so we are going to go ahead and start the show we want to ask everyone to please like and share please like and share uh, this broadcast on today please like and share this broadcast on today again this is Dr. Dewan Jackson and I'm the host of the Deborah's Voice talk show we're on location today, so we're not in the studio, but all is well. And um, we're praying that you will uh, watch us on today and be able to share this broadcast with others. Please feel free to share this broadcast with others. So I want to talk today about patience and I want to talk about forgiveness. Okay, we're still talking about relationships Um and when we talk about relationships, we talked about effective communication. We talked about being able to uh, listen um, effectively. We talked about, you know, the different types of how to love and when to love, uh, who to love. We talked about dating. Um, we had such a thorough conversation on last week. And so I thought it would be only appropriate on today that we talk about uh, two things that I think are um, well worth speaking about when it comes to um, relationships, all right? Two things that you're going to have to have, two nuggets for sure that you're going to have to have. You're going to have to have love, of course, but the things we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about patience and we're going to talk about forgiveness, all right? Patience and forgiveness. So I want us to understand that anytime you're going into a relationship with another person, uh, into covenant, right, a true covenant relationship with another person, then one of the main things that you're going to need is you're going to need the gift of patience, right? Um, when we think about the true definition of love, it says love is patient and love is kind, right? Love is even long suffering. Okay. And so I want to talk about that because when we think about uh, relationships and we think about connecting with others, we think about um, being in sync with other people, we definitely want to make sure that we understand um, how important it is to have patience. All right. So let's look at um, what patience really is. Um, let's talk about that. And I want, I want you to hear today my heart because many of you um, may get into relationships and you may not understand that in the midst of those relationships that you're going to need um, patience, right? You're going to really need this aspect, okay? And so I want to give you the definition of patience. Patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay. Okay, it is the capacity to accept or to tolerate delay or suffering without getting angry or upset. Wow. All right. I'm going to say that again. We talk about patience. It's the capacity to accept or tolerate delay 
trouble or even suffering without getting angry or upset, right? And so um, it's like basically your level of tolerance. And so um, this is something that many of us, I'm sure, have to work on. Um, if you have a strong or a bold personality, um, then you may have to deal with some things when it comes to patience because when you're talking about having a relationship, then you must understand that in being in a relationship, you're literally going to have to have tolerance, okay? You're going to have to have the capacity to, you know, tolerate some things that are not going to change immediately. Many times when we think about patience, we think about, you know, um, it's going to be quick, it's going to be fast, somebody's going to respond quickly. But most times when we think of um, relationship, we want that person to do maybe what we expect of them or what we want them to do. Um, and we can be very selfish. And so sometimes I'm um, waiting for a person to mature, waiting on a person to grow, waiting on a person to change. You know, these are um, serious things that have to be dealt with in relationships. And so because of this lack of patience, many times relationships don't go far because we don't give space and we don't give time for the people to walk out processes to be able to um, grow and to mature right into the space that they need to be. And so it's very difficult in relationships in the beginning, after you get over the honeymoon or the love stage, you fall in love, you see something that, you know, you're really attracted to, that's wonderful. But then as you, like I said, finish dating and you go into the marriage um, and then you begin to see, you know, qualities and characteristics that you could never see from dating. Okay. There's certain qualities and characteristics that you'll never see from dating a person that you'll only see when you're married to them or when you're living with them. And so because of that, um, that's when you're going to need the patience to kick in after the wedding, right? You're going to need the patience to be able to step in and then you're going to have to walk with them daily, right? And so there are going to be some spaces um, in their relationship. There's going to be some spaces um, in their, maybe their attitude and maybe the way they handle certain things um, and how they um, respond to people. Are they quick tempered? Are they short tempered? Um, are they a person that um, makes rash decisions? Um, are they a person that maybe doesn't, you know, it could be as simple as doesn't clean up the way you like or doesn't put things in a particular placement the way you like. Um, these are all things that take patience. And so in order to function in a measure of patience, you have to be in, you know, a mindset that says, I'm going to be tolerable to work with this person for their measure of growth. And so anytime you're going to have patience, you it means you're willing to allow that person to grow. You're willing to allow that person to mature while in your hand. Okay. So patience is the ability to help another um, grow while they're in the ability of your hand. So meaning you're in that relationship, but you're giving them space for growth, right? So, you know, in order to build and develop patience, you're going to have to learn how to have forgiveness, right? And we're going to talk about that in just a moment, you know, dealing with forgiveness and offenses and all of that, because I think it's so important if you're going to grow and if you're going to mature in a relationship, then when things are not so um, sweet, I'll put it that way, when things are not so easy, when there's complications and situations that are happening, then it's very important for you to stay in alignment and to make sure that you're in the proper positioning for the fulfillment to uh, come to pass in your relationship for growth. All right. And so, um, and when you're talking about being patient, you know, let me tell you some things to do. Um, you can give some guidelines and structure of what you'd like them to work on. Um, you have to be able to speak it with wisdom so that they will hear and understand um, what it is that's needed. You want to be able to uh, stand in, um, sit down and have a conversation about it so that you're able to say, this is something that is, you know, affecting me, but I'm willing to work with you on it. I'm willing to be, you know, tolerable about it. I'm willing to come to a certain space 
I'm willing to uh, come to a certain measure and I'm willing to grow, you know, because of it. And so this is very, um, a, a very strong thing when it comes to relationships, right? Because I literally have to um, come into the space of honor, right? If I'm going to have patience, it takes honor, right? In order to step into patience, it's going to take honor. In order to step into patience, it's going to take um, a level of willingness, right? A level of willingness, right? So patience is about you. It's not about others. Patience really is about you. So when I'm trying to um, tolerate or I'm trying to um, you know, deal with that person's character, then I'm going to have to walk through the stages that are needed for the fulfillment and manifestation um, to be built, okay? And so it's very important because many times um, it's not easy to be patient, right? It's not easy to be patient. Why? Because it takes you walking through um, um basically thoughts in your mind to say, I'm going to continue with you. I'm going to continue to advance with you. I'm going to continue to grow with you. I'm going to continue, you know, to wait on your development because it may be something that was hidden that you did not know about concerning your spouse or concerning your, you know, partner, um, your, your husband or your wife. And so, because you may not have known that, then um, because once it's revealed and you're married now, it's something that you have to learn how to walk through. Um, and many times people give up on relationships simply because of lack of patience. They give up on the process of growth. Can I tell you that every relationship has to grow? So it starts at one spot place, you know, it starts in one space, but then it has to grow. It has to mature. It has to matriculate for the fulfillment of what's needed to come to pass. And so when we understand that, we put ourselves in um, a space for maturity, not only for um, ourselves, but in, in maturity for that person that we're going to deal with, the person that we're going to connect to, the person that we're going to, you know, function with. And so, um, when it comes to um, relationships and we're talking about patience, that means I have to be able to endure, right? And when we talk about enduring, it means that I'm willing to um, long suffer, right? I'm willing to go through the phases and the stages um, in relationships, right? And so um, patience is also a type of long suffering, right? And we know that, you know, long suffering means to endure, um, for a period of time, right? While actually, um, suffering, right? Um, not suffering to the point of physical abuse or, you know, bodily injury, but we're talking about suffering, meaning, um, a willingness and ability to grow and mature for the fullness to, to come into fruition so that the relationship that you looking for and the relationship that you want to have, um, you're going to have to have patience to build that. And so can I tell you that relationships are built and they are not just um, um, earned or, or they're built and earned. They're not just given. Um, and so when we think about that, we have to understand that um, people constantly, um, constantly um, have to uh, be in proper alignment. People have to constantly be in um, the proper perspective for the fulfillment to um, to really um, operate in their lives. So patience, again, is very, very, very important. Patience, I cannot stress this enough. In every relationship, you're going to need patience, right? Maybe they um, squeeze the toothpaste in the middle instead of at the top right? Maybe they leave their socks on the floor and you want them to put it in the basket. Maybe they fold their clothes a particular way and you want them hung a particular way. Um, these are all cases that take patience. So in order to understand that, and I'm just giving simple examples, um, it can be that maybe um, 
And it's a situation with their family. It could be a situation with the children that you disagree on. Um, it could be the way you parent. It could be the way you take care of the house. Um, all of these are issues that requires patience. So when we're talking about patience, let me just give you some tips on the things that you need to do, right? One of the things you need to do is you need to make sure that you step into um, um, a space to sit down with that person and to let them know um, this is what I'm, I'm asking of you. Can we work on this? So you have to make an awareness to the person, right? Because the awareness is what helps to bring change. So you have to make an awareness to the person to say that this is something that I would like, if possible, for you to work on changing. And then you give them what it is that you'd like them to change. I'm asking if you could, you know, move your socks, if you can, you know, uh, uh, transition to speaking to me in this manner um, and not shouting. Um, if you can be more private and not so open, you know, just giving suggestions, whatever the case may be, you want to be able to speak to them and share with them those particular instances. Okay. So then also when we talk about um, patience and um, you know, having that that um, ability to stay because that's, you know, the endurance is what's missing in relationships today. The ability to stay, right? And so patience also helps you to look beyond the flaw, all right? So let me tell you something. There are going to be some things that no matter how much you talk about, no matter how many times you address it, no matter how many times you say it, there are going to be some things about your spouse that are not going to change. So because of that, then you have to come into a space of patience and tolerance, right? You have to come into a place to say, I'm not going to, you know, just walk away because of this, right? And that's why you have to know in advance, what is your breaking point? You know, what are your um, lines? What do you, where do you draw the line? How far can we go with this particular thing? And so patience will help you to understand it and it'll perfect you in a space where growth can take place, all right? Where transformation can take place, where you can move into um, the thing that God will want you to move into and operate in the space where God will want you to operate. Okay, so the second thing um, I want to share on today, again, the second thing that I want to share, and, and patience is a big one, but the second thing I want to talk about is offense, okay? Because in relationships, offense is big, right? In relationships, offense is very big. Uh, many times when we have uh, relationships, we recognize that um, offense is something that comes, right? And it comes to to uh, tear down the relationship, all right? So um, offenses, they usually occur, right, in a deteriorating relationship, all right? And um, they can occur in friendships. Um, they definitely going to occur in your family circle, all right? Um, they can occur, you know, in definitely in your relationships, so when we're talking about offense, I want you to understand um, this is why you need patience. Why? Because you're going to have to be able to execute um, your loyalty um, above anything else. All right. The patience is going to help you to step into a place where you're able to break down those offenses. So when we think about um, offense, right, in relationships, like I said, we need patience first, but then you also have to know how to handle offenses. Because why? If I don't know how to handle offenses, then what happens is um, I can have things built up and not address it, okay? Offense is a very real thing. Um, and it's, it's, it's basically like a breach or, you know, an illegal act of something that's being done, right? It's some type of annoyance that has come forth um, because of something that was said or done. So in relationships, remember, you're going to have offense. It's a part of covenant. I need to get you to understand that that offense is a part of covenant. So anytime that you're in a relationship, don't think that it's going to be, you know, a thousand times, you know, prosperous. Everything's just going to be wonderful. There's going to be no, you know, issues. Um, no, offenses are going to come. Jesus himself even said offenses will 
will come, right? And so you really don't know how connected you are in a relationship until offense comes. So offense is really a part of a growth mechanism, right? You're going to find that there's going to be some spaces that you have to deal with the area of offense, right? But it's also going to show you um, in the space of, okay, this person, you know, has um, annoyed me. They've made me angry. Um, they, they brought me, you know, to have a, a perceived insult. Because remember, it may not necessarily be um, an insult from them. It may just be an insult to you. So you have to know that and you have to understand that space. And in functioning in that capacity, it will cause you to deal with you know, the offenses, okay? And so when offenses come, you know, how do I handle the offenses that come, right? How do I handle those offenses? Immediately, I need to execute patience, right? First thing I need to do is execute patience and I need to be able to address the offense, okay? Address the offense, right? And I need to be able to address it in a way that's going, it's going to fizzle out and not address it in a way that it's going to build up more tension, okay? So when I have an offense with my spouse or, or, or my husband or wife, I need to know how to say, listen, um, um, this is what I'm having an issue with. Can we share? Can we set up a time? Very important. A lot of times when people are offended in relationships, and I've seen it over and over and over again, people blow up and they start saying all kinds of things in front of other people, whether it's in public, whether it's in their home or around their children. You want to be able to make sure that you know how to deal with the offense properly. And so you want to be able to um, recognize that, you know what, this, I'm offended by this, but then you want to be able to schedule a time to sit down and say, look, this is a situation. I was offended by this particular thing. And I'm asking that we can talk about it. And so you want to um, make light so that the person can know um, why you were offended and what the issue was that you were offended in. And then you want to transition so that you can see um, how the fulfillment um, of the offense can be transitioned. All right. So very important. You want to transition your mind, transition your spirit, right? So that you um, move forward. Okay. Do not harbor offense. All right. Because offense can change to bitterness. Anytime you're in any type of relationship, right? Offenses can change to bitterness. So if you harbor offense, then what happens is offense grows in the heart and creates a bitter um, taste. It creates a bitterness in your relationship. It creates a bitterness towards the person. And it also creates sickness in yourself, right? It creates unforgiveness. In any relationship, you're going to have to have forgiveness, right? Which means that you're going to have to be open to daily forgive this person for their imperfections, for the things that, you know, they're doing knowingly and unknowingly. So that means that you have to work very, very, very hard on uh, learning how to have a heart of forgiveness, having a heart of patience, having a heart that um, opens up yourself to, uh, to um, being willing to cast down offense, right? Having a heart that puts you in the proper alignment. So these are areas that we all have to work on in any capacity, but especially in relationships, because this is why we see so many divorces, so many separations, so many breakups happening simply because of these two words. You don't have patience and you don't know how to deal with offenses. And so this is not necessarily a popular uh, topic that people would want to see on Deborah's voice, but it's the truth. We have to deal with offenses and we have to deal with, um, and we have to have patience. All right. And so that's why I did the first part of the show on patience. And I'm doing this latter part on offense because we need to understand, right? So you need to make sure, um, um, when we're talking about offense, you want to make sure that you definitely um, don't use um, manipulation, all right? Anytime you're offended, um, don't start using um, manipulation, all right? And um, you got to learn to speak the truth about what was said, but then also deal with what was said and move forward, 
Okay, so you're not harboring in your heart. You're not holding on to it, right? And then you want to make sure that you're not disconnecting in the relationship because once you become offended, you can go through the motions and not necessarily be there emotionally, okay? You can go through the rituals, but not necessarily be there in your heart, be there in your mind, be there in your spirit. So it's very important, right, that we understand we do not make an intentional disconnect whenever we are offended, OK, this is very, very important. All right. Because what happens when I'm dealing with offense. Right. Um, I have to understand that I'm going to try to work on um, making the relationship better, better, not severing the relationship, but making it better. So I have to address it. Right. And then I want to make sure that I'm not straining the relationship, but making the relationship better better right and so um anytime that you're offended you can also masquerade so sometimes people will be offended but they won't actually talk about it they'll just have an attitude so their their words become short their answers become one word you know they don't want to um talk talk you know for some people they shut down they don't know how to effectively communicate about their um particular offense they don't know how to share what's going on um if you're not a person that can talk about your offense write it send a letter a note an email a text make sure that you you know thoroughly read over it several times so that it comes out correctly but the offense needs to come out because remember if you don't deal with it it can become bitterness and that bitterness and unforgiveness becomes a root down in you and it hinders your relationship from becoming effective and for advancing right and so anytime i want to and deal with offenses, I need to make sure that I want to do it so that I can strengthen the relationship, right? If I'm going to deal with offenses, I need to make sure that I'm doing it so I can strengthen my relationship, okay? I don't want to talk about I'm offended, but then don't want to heal it, okay? Anytime that you speak about an offense, the ultimate goal of sharing your offense is to bring healing to the situation, right? The ultimate goal of sharing your offense is to bring healing to the situation. So you're not sharing your offense to continue an argument or to create an argument. You're sharing your offense to bring it to a place of healing in the relationship, okay? Um, you want to strengthen the relationship, right? So you're bringing the offense for a space of correction, but then you're also dealing with the offense for forgiveness and to make a stronger and more durable relationship, okay? Um, very, very, very important. Um, anytime when we're dealing with offense, if it's not dealt with properly, um, then issues can arise, right? Unforgiveness can come. Um, um, struggles can come. Why? Because I've not taken the time to um, deal with it. Now, let me just tell you how offenses are um, just kind of held on to, right? Offenses can be held on to with pride. And so anytime you have pride there, pride is going to keep you in a space from admitting, you know, your own condition, right? Pride is going to keep you in a place um, where it's going to distort your vision to even see, to hear, to know. It's going to distort your vision um, to be able to, to understand um, and it's going to only see through the eyes of your, you know, what you feel or what you think. So if we're talking about offense. We have to sometimes stop being so self-focused. Um, and so I, I want you to see this because if I'm only self-focused, then what happens is when that person begins to share an offense with me in a relationship, I can't even hear them. Why? Because pride is in there and that pride will only be speaking about what they feel, what you think, what I know, what I understand. And so it can hinder me from functioning and it can hinder the offense from being broken. Right. So you got to understand um, anytime you're offense, offended, sometimes you can isolate yourself. Right. So you isolate yourself from talking, isolate yourself from spending quality time, isolate yourself from being around your spouse. Um, offense. I'm, I'm telling you that this is a real issue in relationships. Many people coexist for years, but they have offenses in their heart. They have offenses in their mind, um, offenses that they're carrying and have not addressed or dealt with it. OK, so, you know, you'll magnify everything else, but you won't deal with what you're seeing or what you're feeling um, inwardly. And so this has to be addressed. If you want a lasting relationship, you're going to have to deal with the fences.
You're also going to have to step into a place where um, you have patience, okay? Patience, patience, patience. And that was what I dealt with at the beginning of the show today. Um, I, I want you all to understand that any relationship it has flaws. Any relationship has issues. Um, every relationship has struggles. Um, but with patience and with being able to handle offense, with patience and being able to deal with offense and having um, spaces of forgiveness, um, a willingness to forgive others and breaking the spirit of pride, um, your relationship can really go far. You can grow, you can develop, and you can help others. Um, and so I want to just say on today, um, just wanted to take some time on the show today to uh, share with each and every one of you um, about these nuggets for your relationships um, and, and how important it is to have um, um, patience and how important it is to deal with your offenses and how important it is to forgive, right? And so these things will help you go far, right? And they'll help you to advance um, and they'll help you to grow, right? And so for any lasting relationship, you have to learn those things, right? So forgive quickly, be patient and um, break the spirit of offense, right? Don't be offended so easy. You're going to be offended because in every covenant relationship, there will be offense, but don't hold on to it, okay? Um, thank you so much, Apostle G Day, for watching me today. God bless you so much, all of you that are online. Please like this post and share it. Um, again, we just talked about patience and we talked about um, um, offenses and we talked about um, forgiveness. And so please, those of you that did not see the broadcast, share it with others, like others, uh, like it and, and let others know about it. And don't forget to hit that um, um, button so that you'll know when we're going live and it'll automatically send you a post of when we're going live or notification rather of when we're going live. We want to appreciate each and every one of you for being with us. Again, this is Dr. Jackson and this is Deborah's Voice and we'll be back on next week at 2 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless you. Thank you so much, um, Jasmine, Nicole. We appreciate you for sharing this broadcast. I know that it's going to bless people. I, I know that it was not the popular thing, but this is what is needed if we want to really enhance our relationships and grow and develop to become greater. Um, we need patience, we need to break offenses, and we need to have forgiveness. So God bless you all again, and we'll be back on line next Wednesday, 2 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Love you all. This is your host, Dr. Dewan Jackson. Have a blessed afternoon. God bless you. God bless you. Greetings. Thank you.